Ladies, I'd like to just first start. We're at the second annual Trailblazer series. It's obviously there's so much excitement around it, second time around. How does it feel to be a part of this moment and this event? Shirley, start with you. This is what we're we wished for since we the League of Their Own ended was something for these girls to have the same opportunity that we had to play baseball. And that's why it's so important for us to come out here, encourage them, and just just have, have a great time. Well, I don't know what she's talking about, but what I'm talking about is, I think it's the most wonderful thing since, well, I'm not gonna say that word, I'll get in trouble. Anyway, it um, is the most wonderful thing in the world to give these girls an opportunity to play the game that they love, not softball. These girls want to play baseball and Major League uh, uh, has finally come along and has given them the opportunity. Now we want to keep it going and running uh, to have the same opportunities that uh, Shirley and I had. If it's the most wonderful part of our life and not pushed into softball. If girls want to play softball, that's wonderful because I love to play softball also. But baseball is in my heart and so many of these girls is uh, baseball that they've always been pushed into softball. Maybell, you were quoted recently saying that um, you know it's it's exciting when you watch young women lace up their spikes and take the field. Oh God! Have you ever? Have you? I'm sure you have. Put on a pair of spikes. I mean, the, not that rubber stuff, but spikes. And you put it on, and you walk down the cement, and you can hear click, 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 click. It's like music. Somebody could write a song about that because. I, at one time I went over to Big Five Sporting Goods store about a year ago and, this, and I says, I want a pair of cleats. He brought me over this rubber stuff and I says, I don't want those rubber cleats, I want spikes. He looked at me like I was out of my mind, you know, maybe we should lock her up. And I said, no, I want spikes. So he went over and got me a pair. I got up and I walked on their cement floor, click, 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 and it brought back so much, so much thrill to me. And then I went back and said, well, thank you. And I went out the store and he still was scratching his head as I was walking out. What the heck was that all about? I love it. Absolutely, I love it too. Ladies, we've come so far. What's next? What, what's next um, in, in this movement? In this, you know, the future is female, Shirley? Well, what's next is just what, what we have been talking about. We want to get something for, for girls baseball from the beginning of when it started in the 1800s up to now, the present, and on into the future. And that's actually what, what we're striving for, is to get, get these girls a place where, where they can have their own Hall of Fame, they can have their own uh, uh, ballpark, they can be recognized as women baseball players and not have to compete with men. That, that's our goal. Yeah, that, that makes me weak at the knees because I, I, it's my dream before I'm under the ground instead of this side of the grass, and I only got about five years left. So we got to get that museum, umpire school, educational center, a uh, place just like the boys have in Williamsport. We need that for girls. And we have the facility there in Rockford. All now is we need a lot of support and help, and we would have this because I don't believe that women should be inducted into the Hall of Fame like so many women would like, because we do not, and we're not capable of being in the same league as a man hitting all these home runs and all of this, because we're not capable. But in our own Hall of Fame, we are the tops. So let us have our own uh, museum and honor our girls all through the years that have outstanding just like the men. Let's talk about a league of your own, a league of their own. Uh, there's a line in the movie. Uh, you two know something a little bit about what I'm talking about? Well, I think so. Can you tell me about that? If it's easy, everybody would be doing it. That's what I liked. Huh? Shirley? Oh, uh, I don't know. There were a lot of lines in there that, that I liked. I, I, I don't know right off that. That line particular was uh, stood out, I think, in the movie. Mm -hmm. 
But of course, the no crying in baseball thing, that was more, oh, yeah, that, more fun thing than... Yeah, it was fun making the movie. We had a ball um, being there. Uh, there's so many stories we can tell you about that movie that uh, if I had time, I could take about two hours to tell you what we did. Is uh, there one that sticks fun. out to you, one, one memory from that time making that movie? Well, one thing that uh, impressed me was uh, when the Madonna went up against the fence and leaned back and they dropped the ball into her mitt like, you know, she had made that sensational catch, catch out there in the left field or center field, wherever she was. Things like that that went on. And then they had a tennis ball covered in horse hide. So the older ladies that were playing the uh, movie stars wouldn't get hurt. So it was a tennis ball covered uh, with horse hide looking like a baseball. And that was really something. We, we, we could go on and on and on stories like that about the making of the movie itself. But the movie, uh, what you say, Shirley, about 90% right? She did a good job. She really did. She showed, showed uh, uh, the few Hollywoods that were in there, uh, drunken managers, things like that. Uh, but on a whole, she, she showed that what it was like, the camaraderie between the girls, among the girls, and uh, everything. The only one I was disappointed in was the chaperone. The chaperone was a very important part of the league, especially for the teenagers. And uh, uh, the way she was portrayed in the movie, I thought they could, they could have did a better job without having her throw dirt in her face. And, Poisoning her dinner or whatever. Oh, kind of yeah. Ladies, my last question for you individually is the advice that you're giving to these young women who are trying to continue to blaze the trail that you that you forged. What do you say to these young women when they come up to you, Shirley? Well, the, what we try to do is to, uh, is to encourage them, encourage them to stick with it, because at some point they're they're going to get pushed into softball. I mean, they, they come up through Little League and that, and they're fine, and, and maybe they get into high school and that. But then once, once that happens, that's it for them. And what, what we want to encourage them to do is to continue to strive to, and if we get enough girls interested, and maybe someone will recognize that we have all these girls wanting to play baseball, and perhaps someone We'll make a big donation and we can have another league of their own. Yeah, that's what we're striving for is a league of their own and I'm going to be there throughout the very first pitch when it starts because we have to do it for these girls to give them the opportunity. It's a shame, you know, they have to go to high school practically and drop out of baseball because there's no place for them to play baseball. None whatsoever. So now the girls, believe it or not, are making the high school teams, a few of them. And it's really great, but beyond high school, men become, you know, they develop and get stronger, run faster, jump higher, or whatever. But uh, we are at our tops of our level that we can perform, and we should have that league and let them do their thing. They we, love. we don't want them to have to compete against men. No. We, we have so many skills. They, women have so many skills. Uh, that they could show off, but they're not going to do that on a major league field against these men. No way. And there, there's no girl that's going to hit a ball 450 feet. There's no girl that's going to throw a, a ball 100 miles an hour. So we no. need to, to get, uh, let people know about the skills that these girls have on a, uh, against women, not against men. Absolutely. I even agree with her for a change. Uh, it's uh, something that uh, we have to do. We have to give these the girls the opportunity that we had that opened the doors for Title IX. But we are moving, and if all of us women stick together and some of the guys come along, which they are now, thank God, realize that we like to have our own league, and especially the men that have daughters now. They're understanding what their daughter is going through. Uh, I wish they'd have more daughters instead of more sons right now so they could realize what we're fighting for. Absolutely. And quickly, Mabel, can you just tell me what it was like to play catch with Jenny Finch earlier today? Oh, Jenny, she's a great gal. Um, uh, she's quite a gal and it was fun. Um, Jenny and I did a little stint for uh, Fox News some years back together and um, it was uh, real nice. She's a real great gal good role model for girls.
uh, very good softball role model.